Hey guys, I am making this video because I have multiple friends that are having issues with their Nintendo Switch and their Joy-Cons. Their Joy-Cons will either desync or the thumbsticks will wander around and it won't let you move like you're supposed to. This is my huge Nintendo display, 3DS and Nintendo Switch. We've got Lego Mario over here holding Odyssey. Okay, anyway, so let's get the 3DS out of here. So this video is basically just to show you how to fix those problems. Like, I have been able to fix any problem I've had with my Switch wandering. Like, the Joy-Cons, they will wander sometimes. Like, they did in the past, but then I did this one simple trick and it fixed the problem. And then one time, my left and right thumbsticks... They were wandering like I'd press it and it would keep moving my character in that direction even if I wasn't even pressing them. So I'm hoping that this video will fix your problems. And let's just get straight into it on how to fix all the problems in any scenario that I can possibly think of. Oh, but before I start, I do need to put my case on my switch i suggest that if you are a nintendo switch owner and you take your switch everywhere that you should it would probably be best if you bought a thin plastic case for it like i have right here okay now on to the actual fixing okay so some people have had problems with their joy cons when sliding them onto the console and they just won't connect so if your joy I don't know how many of you know this, but the Joy-Cons... Here, let me uh, move this over here. The Joy-Cons have these little gold... I don't know what's up with my camera. Come on, camera. There are these little gold contacts right under... Yeah, my camera is acting up for some reason. So basically, long story short... You know how a 3DS game card has those little gold things on them? Well, that's what's under this. And when you slide it into the Switch, it goes into and touches some more contacts in there. So sliding them on, the contacts on this go into the contacts there. And that is what makes the clicking sound. Now, if you're not getting that clicking sound, you either have one of two problems. Either your contacts are really dirty or they're just damaged. And in that case, you're either gonna have to buy new Joy-Cons, or if your Switch is still within its one year warranty, you could ship them to Nintendo and they'll fix them for free, but only if your Switch is still within its 12 month warranty. So I know it's gonna sound crazy, but all you need to clean out the contacts there and on here is a toothbrush. Now hear me out, hear me out. You don't, whatever you do do not use a used toothbrush that's just plain old disgusting don't take a used toothbrush and start cleaning out the contacts with it but I I got a brand new toothbrush that has only been used for cleaning the contacts on my switch so get a toothbrush that hasn't been used by a person already or else they'll just probably make your problem worse so new toothbrush and you're gonna want to just take it slide the bristles in there like this, see that? And then just brush it like this for about 10 seconds. Then you're gonna want to try to do this. So push it inward and then pull up like that. Turn it like that. That'll get some dust that's really stuck in there. And then brush it some more. And that should solve your problem. And sometimes I'll get dust in the rail here, in the crack of the rail. So you can just take the toothbrush, just rub across the rail here, and that will get all the dust out. It works for me. There. And then you just do it to the other Joy-Con to make sure they're both in tip-top shape working. Brush it like that, pull up like this. Then you can slide it across like that, get all dust out, perfect. And then if you're experiencing issues with your thumbsticks, 
the first thing you can do is take the toothbrush, press it in here like that, and just twist it like this to get any dust out that might be in there. Do it, even if one of them is working perfectly fine, I suggest you do it anyway to the good working one. That way no dust gets in there. And then some people are also having a problem where their shoulder buttons aren't responding. Now you could have one of three problems. Either you're mashing them too hard when you're playing your games and that's harming them. Or second, there's a bunch of dust in there and then it just isn't contacting the little button thing under there. So you just want to do this. And then the third problem could be you just, they're worn out. So you'll just have to buy new ones or ship it to Nintendo if you're still within your 12 month warranty. So you just want to take that same toothbrush and just rub it like this over it. I mean, that worked for me. And then do the same thing here. And look, those little bristles, they get in between all the cracks where dust could get in. And it got all the dust out for me and my buttons work fine. Just do the same thing to both. That should get all the dust out. Like I said, it worked for me. It's probably not going to work for everybody. This is just for cleaning tips. If it's not working, you can try these to see if they're just dirty and that they need to be cleaned so you don't waste money on new ones when these still work. Now, then you could take the toothbrush, just rub it into the black there. Just brush away. You should get all that gunk out or whatever is in there. Where I live, it's a pretty dusty area where I live. So I need to learn a lot of these for cleaning out the Joy-Cons. Then one other thing you can do is blow, is to pull back the thumbstick and just blow in a 360 direction. Move the thumbstick like this and blow like... So like this. That's what it should sound like. Just like that. And that should help it. And another thing you can do, let's see if I still have one down here. Let's see, do I have one? Okay, so yeah. You can also take a cotton swab. Okay, sorry, as I was saying, get two brand new cotton swabs that haven't been used. You can also pull back the thumbstick and just rub it in here. Get any dust out that could be in there. And also rub it. There's a little, here, let me get a screwdriver. There is a little rubber cap on Joy-Cons that covers up the little area of movement for the thumbstick. So if you just take this and just rub it gently, because dust is attracted to rubber. So if you rub this little piece of rubber, you might be able to get some dust off it. And you can just do the same thing to the left one. I'm not being very thorough because mine are already clean, but you do it like this. There, get that little piece of rubber, wipe off any dust that could be on that, and then it should work. Next, you can also take that same toothbrush. Let me just move my tools out of here. Take that same toothbrush and just take it and rub the rail like this because you will find you should find a lot of dust in the rail like it really easily gets stuck in there so you're gonna want to use that in there and you just rub it on both sides like this just like that 